Today we're going to show you how to verify trig identities. So let's try an easy problem. Cosecant theta times tan theta equals secant theta. So let's start on this side. So cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta times tan theta, which is sine theta over cosine theta equals secant theta. And you can only work on one side, so you just pick this side. And since the signs cancel, it turns into 1 over cosine theta equals secant theta. And then 1 over cosine theta is the same as secant theta. And so we verified it. Now we're going to try a more difficult problem. 1 over sine squared x minus sine to the fourth x equals secant squared x plus cosecant squared x. You could work on either side, but I'll work on the right. We'll use brackets to indicate 1 over sine squared x minus sine to the fourth x, so we don't have to rewrite it. Secant squared x is the same as 1 over cosine squared x. And cosecant squared x is the same as 1 over sine squared x. We will change cosine squared x to 1 minus sine squared x due to Pythagorean identity. We'll just bring down the 1 over sine squared x. Then we would use the least common denominator, which would be sine squared x plus 1 minus sine squared x over sine squared x times 1 minus sine squared x. Then we would bring down the 1 over sine squared x minus sine to the fourth x. These sine squared x's would cancel out and you're left with 1. Then you would distribute and then you would get sine squared x minus sine to the fourth x. That's how you verify it. These problems are only basic usage of the identities. There are more trig identities used in verifying.